Another beautiful morning in Minnesota. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you something insane, okay? okay? It's not that insane, but honestly, I've been having some coaching costs lately and I see something that is a huge mistake that so many people are making right now. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys are doing this as well with Facebook ads. Now, I've also seen some people ask questions in my comments about this, so this is gonna be a really awesome video. And I'm also gonna give you a little bonus Facebook ads tip at the end um, about a different ad style that has been working super well lately. So definitely stay all the way till the end. I'm gonna dive into my computer here, into some ads so you can actually you know, follow me step by step on how you can actually do this. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna make some coffee right now and then we're gonna get into it right away. All right, I got my coffee. You guys, I just want to mention real quick before I hop into here that if you do get value, you make sure to hit the subscribe button as hard as you can. Join the family. We're growing super fast. And like I always say, I'm trying to build the best e-commerce community out here on YouTube, in the world, everywhere. So make sure you're a part of it now before we blow up. So just do that. Now I'm going to hop into my computer here and I'm going to use this camera this time because I actually want to try out this new mic so I can get, show you guys some crisp audio. Alright guys, we are in this now. As you can see, I do have a new mic. So that's probably why the audio might be a lot clearer, like I just said. But anyways, let's just hop right into this. So. What we're gonna do here is essentially just create a random campaign. And the thing that happens to a lot of people is that they, every time they duplicate an ad set, they actually duplicate the ad as well. So that means that now they have two ads of the same product or whatever. Uh, and the reason why you don't wanna do that is obviously because then you're not gathering all of the social proof into just one post. You're gathering social proof across multiple posts. And the reason why that's bad is obviously because social proof does help, uh, you know, with getting more social proof and also with bringing attention to your post, uh, you know, getting lower cost per purchase through lower CPMs typically, not always, but, and also uh, simply because then you can retarget based on that post and you don't have to retarget on every single, you know, post that you have that would just be pretty much impossible unless you know, each one is doing super good or whatever. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it and then at the end I'm gonna show you a, a bonus way that you can actually test some products that I, I had a coaching call student do this and this is why I'm showing you this. Um, it's not because this is something I personally do but he was trying this out and it was working really well so I'm gonna give you an example of how to do that. But let's just start with creating the campaign. Now we're just gonna create a campaign for uh, like these cat necklace, like cat jewelry that I found, okay? so. We're just gonna do cat jewelry now, of course. I don't, I'm not saying you should test these products by any means. This is just for example purposes. Of course, if you did wanna test these products, totally up to you, but we're gonna start conversions and then we're gonna t um, call this WC, of course, and then we'll do cat jewelry and then the BEP. I mean, I'm just making this up. Let's just say it's 15. $15, pretty decent, you know, it's not too crazy of a profit margin, but it's still pretty good and enough for us to be able to scale effectively. Um, so let's keep going here. Now, what we're gonna do, of course, is we're gonna target, I still like to target worldwide, target the whole world, but I do exclude a lot more countries now. So let me see if I have this list here, save locations, nice. So I have an exclude list. It's not super big, it's nothing too crazy, but let's see. India, South Africa, Thailand, Philippines, China, uh, and then we're gonna go with Argentina too. Argentina's been kind of a pain in the ass lately. <laughs> okay, cool. So, oh wait, not South Africa, it's all of Africa. Okay, cool, let's see, let's get rid of that. Africa, and then I thought I had Pakistan in here too, but I guess not, now we do. Okay, so all of these countries, these are the ones I typically exclude, so of course that's a huge potential reach. Now let's just keep going down here. Um, one thing that I've been testing is not including the language, and 
you know, the reason why is just mainly because sometimes I feel like the more things you tell Facebook to, like, the more you narrow down your search, the more you're limiting Facebook. But of course, that's not necessarily true. In fact, I am going to put English as a language. Um, I, I was just mentioning that I was testing it out and it has worked, um, but I don't think there's a huge difference between adding it and not adding it. So I'm just going to add it because that's what I used to do and that's what works still. And then for the detail targeting, um, we're going to think of a cat interest. So we're just going to type cats, but we're not going to target a super broad cat interest. Um, we're going to type something a little more narrow. So let's see. Cat lovers, big cat. Simon cat black cat Okay, so let's go with this the well not the grumpy cat cuz that's more of a meme We'll go with cat food cuz I mean everybody who likes cat food on here is likely to have a cat And that's still a pretty decent sized audience. So then we're gonna we're gonna narrow it down by engaged shoppers as I always do uh, You know 13 million perfect. That's pretty much what I want um, now, not always, obviously, audience size cats, it's one of those things that's a little irrelevant. You don't need to have a huge audience size. You don't need to have a super small audience size, whatever. Just think of the interest, okay? Think if the interest makes sense, um, you should definitely test it. Now, I will say, most of my best audiences have been in the 1 million to 10 million range, but I don't think there's a particular reason because uh, for that. I think it just happens to be that way because I've also had other ad sets do particularly well that are a lot bigger and then some that are a lot smaller that have also done really well. So it's pretty subjective. You really just have to test and that's why people say that to test because it's 100% true. Now we're only gonna do Facebook feed and Instagram feed, of course. That's typically the only ones I do. Um, I've also been testing Marketplace a little bit but for some reason, wait, what? what is this? Why doesn't it let me do Marketplace even though it's a um, WC campaign, whatever. It's not a big deal. I've been testing it lately. I haven't been. I don't think it's extremely crucial. Oh, yeah, we're gonna optimize here for purchase. By the way, yeah, this is just a random ad account that I have. I have a lot of ad accounts, so it hasn't had a uh, pixel fire, so that's why it's like that color. And then we're gonna keep going down. So we got the placement done. We got this. Everything's fine. We're gonna do five bucks a day, of course. I typically like to start at five bucks a day, sometimes ten. Uh, or sometimes three, but most of the time it's five. And then for the converse, uh, conversion window, we're just gonna leave it seven day click or one day view. Uh, the reason why is because you just wanna let Facebook optimize for you. Um, you don't want it to, because let's just say, for example, everybody's doing one day click nowadays. Uh, so guess what? When you do one day click, there's a lot more competition and there's a lot more people uh, that might outbid you. And you gotta remember, Facebook is an auction system, so that doesn't benefit you in terms of cost. So this is why I like to leave it like this because you know once I find a winning ad set, then I might you know do some micro testing with lower budget ad sets and kind of distribute everything. Um, you know, just put a one day click on a, one of the ad sets and seven day view on one. You know, and split test them, but not at the beginning. Okay, so let's keep going here, and this is what I want. This is the bonus tip. So I'm going to show you the bonus tip first, and then I'm going to show you uh, how you can fix this issue of like over duplicating your ad sets or whatever. Um, so the, the the little hack that I want to teach you is this carousel ad hack. So as you as you saw, we targeted a really, really specific, well, not super specific, actually, what am I saying? We targeted a cat interest that was relatively, um, you know, targeted. I mean, it was pretty targeted because cat food, I mean, somebody who randomly likes cat is not going to like the cat food interest. Somebody who has a cat will like that interest. So that's why we're going to do that. Um, and then we're gonna do a carousel ad for this instead of a video. So this is more aimed at those of you that have like maybe fashion stores or, or things that you can't really make a video for, you know, or it's really tough to make a video for. So this is a super, super awesome way to test. And I usually use this for retargeting only, but uh, so what we're gonna do is, you know, we got three different jewel cat jewelries right here. So this is just like, you know, a, a random necklace, um, a random, uh, you know just whatever like earrings for cats and then a ring so these are all different things so what we're gonna do here um, is actually do let's just start adding some pictures in here so the first picture oh, okay so we'll confirm that that'll be our first image oh my chrome is dying Sweet. Okay, so sorry guys, the, the whole campaign got all messed up. Uh, well, not the campaign, but 
the <laughs> what's it called the Google Chrome just shut off on me for some reason so we're just gonna go back luckily it allowed us to just start where we left off so that's great um, so we're just gonna do a random page here so we're gonna do a carousel ad like I was saying earlier and then for the first picture we're just gonna add just these rings then for the second one we're gonna add some some of these some this necklace and then for the third one we're gonna add these hopefully oh it's too small okay whatever so let's just pretend I added it right uh, let's just add a different picture of the rings so let's just do this one okay cool so these are all different picks uh, and they're all pretty good picks so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna type in here like let's just say we had five okay let's just pretend we had five images we're gonna say these are our top five cat jewelry pieces of the summer and then we're gonna go to like pillyapp.com or something find some some awesome emojis here uh, well maybe not that one I do like to use emojis that are a little bit more uncommon and the reason why is obviously because when you have uncommon emojis they stand out a lot more so we're gonna use this cat face I've never well I guess that's a pretty normal one these are top five cat jewelry pieces of the summer and let's just pretend we're running this through um, a fan page about cats right so let's just say this said like cat lovers or cats are us these are our top five let's just say our top five favorite cat jewelry pieces of the summer and then you can I mean if you wanted to you know it depends on how salesy you want to be you could say something like 50% uh, off all pieces today only or something or all pieces first 500 customers only or first 100 customers only whatever you want to do um, but this is a pretty decent scarcity I mean I, I'm not a huge fan of um, of these type of really salesy ad copies but here's the thing in this particular case it might work pretty well so we're gonna go with um, just like a, a shocked face or something something like that okay cool and this and we want to make sure that we are automatically showing the best cards first because of course if one of them is performing better than another we want that one to be the the best one and here's what we're gonna do so for headline you know you're gonna type like cat ring you know and then for the next one we're gonna do cat necklace and you know guys please don't just copy this step by step obviously this is just an example if I were you I would go a little more you know a little harder on this uh, cat ring again and then of course for the URL you have to make sure that you put in the specific product URL don't take them to a coll whole collection you could but I would advise you to just take like if they click learn more on this image it takes them to that product okay and then here's another little hack um, I'm yeah this is gonna be pretty valuable I don't really share this often but on the description right here what you can do is do a little five star thing and look at oh let's do it with the first one so you can kind of see what I'm talking about and look at that <laughs> five stars guys this is a five star product and this works super well so look at test this out and you know now you have three products that you're testing for the price of one and the reason why this works well guys is because obviously in a passionate niche like this so this is why this only really works with a niche I mean you could try it out with whatever though like I encourage you to test this out is the thing um, but you know it's not a huge deal but anyway sorry this isn't even the the main point of the video oh uh, whatever so let's let's just make Paley app the destination URL cuz okay and then we'll go with that whatever it's not a big deal now let's click confirm take a sip of coffee real quick perfect so now I'll show you how to fix that issue that so many of you guys have so it's actually super simple in fact it's you know it, it's really simple but a lot of people do this including even my partner guys even my partner up until like a month ago he was still doing this uh, because it's something that Facebook just randomly changed I remember always I was able to duplicate something and it would like just keep the post but look at this is what happens when I click duplicate this to cuz oh wait not the campaign uh, so when I go to the ad set level and I want to duplicate my ad set what we're gonna do is um, 
so look at this is what happens normally so look at this is just normal and then most people are like oh okay cool publish or whatever like they change one thing and publish and then look at when it, when you click on the ad yeah it's the same exact ad right but look at it's creating a new ad with all of the stuff that you already used so obviously what this when ha what this what happens with this is that it creates a whole new post um, and that, that's that, that's obviously not what we want to do so what we want to do is use the same post so you want to go to use existing post and then yeah of course it's like oh well what do I do here so we're gonna go over here and in a new tab we're gonna open up our page posts we're gonna go to the page that we just had so this is our you know this is the post that we just made right um, you know the top five whatever cat necklaces and stuff so we're gonna type this post ID we're gonna copy it copy and then we're gonna paste this right here boom and it should work perfect so now we're all good so now you can click publish and it should be fine but here's the thing guys after you do the first one so after the first duplicate when you actually use the existing post it should work just fine so look at now if I try to duplicate this new one um, this it's gonna be just fine look at we'll go to one ad and look at it's using the existing one now it's not creating a new one so once you do this once it fixes it completely so that's all you really need to know um, and that's a huge 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 thing that is really affecting the way that you're I mean the success of your ads because guys social proof even though I don't like to always run at PPE ads right away for a product sometimes if the product is really hot I do run PPE ads alongside of it to keep boosting the social proof and engagement overall so that's a really smart thing to do but I don't like doing that at the beginning all the time just because it can be a waste of time in my opinion okay like some people test differently guys so just know that um, but with me I like to do it once I find ad sets that are really profitable then I take those to a PPE ad to boost the engagement um, but engagement and social proof obviously it works guys there's no debating that I'm not you know arguing about that but of course if you're doing like you know, if you do 10 ad sets and in each ad sets you're doing a, a different ad accidentally, then you have 10 different posts that you're gathering up social proof for. So it's that's definitely a bad thing. You want to gather up all of those ad sets into one post, right? Or if you're split testing a post, then do that. But obviously that's totally different. So guys, that's pretty much it for this one. All right, guys, so hopefully you get a lot out of this video. I know that this was pretty lengthy, so if you're at the end, you're the real MVP. But anyways, this is a huge, huge issue that I saw a lot. So make sure if you're having this issue, you go implement this tip and make sure you use that bonus tip too to test a new kind of ad. Now, of course, you guys, if you did get value, make sure you join the family and subscribe to the channel. We're growing the best e-commerce community in this whole entire space so you want to make sure that you join now before everyone else does because they will eventually guys trust me now that's it for this video guys I have daily videos coming up so make sure you check up on this every day turn on those notifications and that's pretty much it I'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out